Very nice, am I right? Hans has got a consultancy out here testing cars. He's a brilliant engineer, but not much of a driver. So he's looking for a business partner. Want to join the insurance business? Welcome to the insurance business, eh? You're going to love this. Hello, good day. Uh, how are you? Now that we have enjoyed the small talk, we may proceed to the next case, involving an acceleration test in normal traffic conditions. Now, this is a 1966 Volkswagen Beetle, into which I have placed a 2.5-liter F4 turbo engine, partly to replicate the conditions of the claim, but also because I would very much like to see what happens. Perhaps be careful with this vehicle. I may have overdone it. Actually, you know, the claim concerns a driver very much overdoing it. So by all means, uh, how is it you say, put the foot down. Clement, all those years working in Germany, never once did I think to do this to a Volkswagen. Our next claimant extensively modified a 1955 Chevy 150 utility sedan with a view to turning it into a rally car. This is not so far beyond the realms of possibility. The vehicle is heavy, yes, but with all-wheel drive and rally-tuned springs and dampers, it could be done. The claimant's attempt resulted, of course, in complete failure, but I am confident that ours will not. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 100 meters, turn sharp left. Turn right. In 200 meters, turn sharp right. Turn sharp right. In 100 meters, Turn sharp left.
400 meters, turn right. Turn right. At the roundabout, take the second exit. meters, turn right. Turn right. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. meters, turn right. Turn right. In 400 meters, turn left. meters, you will arrive at your destination. All in all, a highly adequate rally car.
and we should not discount the psychological effect upon the competition of being overtaken by a collector's item. Ah, greetings once again. So, we have our modified Chevy 150. Now we must test the claim that it will make a competitive rally car. I am confident in the vehicle's performance, and I have observed enough of your experimental driving technique to be confident in you also. Ah, now, you will need a co-driver, of course. This will be me. Steady incline, four-wheel drive, hold the rear end tight. That did not sound as it should. You see how those wide tires and reduced weight handle the corners? The claimant failed to grasp this. suspension. Hard left now. Stay on the road. On the decline. Suspension, braking, and steady nerves. Such power in the big Chevrolet engine. This the claimant grasps a little too well, I think. Yeah, most satisfactory. Yourself and the car. The claimant will be pleased to know we have succeeded where they catastrophically failed. Or perhaps they will not. Have you noticed an upward trend in peculiar insurance cases since we began our work? I have noticed this. Is it possible we are, how would you say, a bad influence? And here is one such case. The claimant wishes to establish the absolute maximum capabilities and tolerances of the Myers Manx June buggy. Ah, well, if test the June buggy we must, then test the June buggy we will. a prime testing location. I think also away from prying eyes. I knew insurance would be difficult. I did not know it would be so popular. Now, the Manx here has been outfitted with the latest accelerometers, lateral g-force meters and impact sensors. I will be using the data to build a detailed telemetric profile. 
All I require from you is that you drive like you have no concern for your own safety. Please accept as a token of my esteem that I think this will not be so difficult a task for you. You have a little more of a carefree side in you, yes? We have successfully established the tolerances of the Myers Manx. To what end, I'm not sure. We have received no claims of damage to dune buggies, except perhaps our own. Ah, I'm afraid this case represents our last together as colleagues and work-related social companions. For the moment, as long as there is insurance, my friend, there will be bizarre insurance claims. For example, this claimant placed a 2.6-liter rotary engine inside a production Mazda Meata MX-5. As you are aware, this type of engine is more common in uh, high-performance propeller-driven aircraft. If you would please take it and ascertain just how badly this can go wrong. The first phase of testing will be along standard country roads with mild undulations next to the coast. yourself with the howling noise this is quite normal endeavor to gather more information please Now 
off of the urban testing phase. You will please take into account traffic and various asphalt conditions. Please avoid collisions with urban vehicles. Excellent. Now we begin the highway testing phase. Please exceed 200 miles an hour along this section for optimum data gathering. Ah, well done. But I feel we would gain further illumination with further acceleration. Do you not think so? Calculations suggest a performance of this kind should result in total spontaneous engine disassembly. And yet, here you are! Well, I must say, whether the claim was proved or disproved, it was a great deal of fun, and I have you to thank. I know you are busy at the festival, I'm sure I will see more of you. But if you should ever leave, I hope you will consider a career in insurance. <laughs>